G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got. I made a huge mold. It was really, really hard to do. Do you remember this one that I made? I'm gonna bring it around here. And I'll just put you on autofocus for a sec. Do you remember this guy that I made? Crushed velvet. So I have made well, if you haven't seen that one, check back on the video because I put this plastic wrap in to get this crinkly look. Everyone thinks that it's not smooth on top, but it is. <laughs> People are going, how do you put, you put your cup on that? Because it's all uneven, but it's not. It's smooth. So, very exciting today. I have made this giant mould um, similar to this. And obviously, because it's in a bigger scale, the pieces, like the... Um, the crushed velvet look are bigger because it would look really busy if it was like really small scrunches like that So bigger mold bigger effects. So I'm gonna go with that same color Which is this one here? Where will I put you there? Which is The no FOMO. I don't know what that means, but no FOMO um, It's a chameleon pigment and it's by glitter and craft for you Com. So I'm going to do that one. I'm going to get my tape measure so I can show you how big this is. I should have got it earlier. So yeah, um, this is actually a two part. First of all, I made the tray, which is, this is sitting in it. That this, this outside is the tray. I'm not going to get it out now because I've just put it in and I've pushed it down and I've cleaned it and it's all ready. But I'll show you when I've, you know, demolded. Um, so I've got my tape there and cleaned it off. So the interior, so the, the size of the actual, do it this way so you can see, the size of the actual insert is 32 um, centimeters. So what's that, about 12 and a half, there's 12, there's 13. Well, just over 12 and a half inches so it's a big one and then the the outside of the um the mold which i guess doesn't really matter 14 inches so this is actually a tray a round tray a 32 centimeter or 12 and a half inch round tray um or if you want to put the insert in then you do that <clears throat> now when i did this because i was thinking about it and i don't think this is going to be any more trouble to what this was so when i did this I put the clear resin down, I put the plastic wrap on, I scrunched it. I had to wait like six hours, peel the plastic off, dust the, um, the crushed velvet effect look, pour black on it, and then I had my coaster. So this is going to be the opposite of that, okay? It's still going to be the two parts because you still got to... You know, you pour your clear, you got to wait, then you got to put your, your dusting on. This is going to be the same two steps, but it's going to be reversed. So I'm going to pour, uh, what well, I'm going to dust now, and I'll talk to you while I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to dust, and I'm not going to put as much dust on as last time, because you can see the leftover dust in the, or pigment, I'm going to call it dust, <laughs> in the little creases there. So I'm not going to put as much on, hopefully not. And I should be able to like wipe it away a little bit better because I've got more room in there. So as I was saying, two parts, the same as that one. I'm going to be dusting, painting my pigment powder on, and then I'm going to make up some black resin and I'm going to pour the black on top. Okay, because you need to have your, your black over the top of this because this is actually going to be the bottom of the coaster, okay? The bottom, because when you pour your black on, you can think of it like that. When you pour your black on, some of the pigment powders, they come to the surface and you can see them sitting on the surface there. So I'm gonna pour the black over this um, and then six hours later, once the resin's had a chance to set, I'll come back, uh, we shall peel or take the piece out then we'll turn it over, we'll peel the Druzy insert out, <clears throat> or the crushed velvet insert out. Um, and then, once it's out, we put the piece of resin back into the mould without having the insert there. 
and then we fill it up with clear resin. Okay, that's that's the plan. I don't know if it's going to work. I probably should have tried on a smaller piece, like made a smaller mold first. Get in there. It's probably going to lift a little bit. Hope it doesn't lift too much. We shall have to wait and see. Um, so I'm just going to speed up the video now. And um, I'll come back to you once I've made up, once I've done this and I've made up my black and we'll pour the black on, okay? So I'll just fast forward it. Right, so I'm done. Made up a heap of resin. I made up 600 grams. I don't know if it's, it looks way too much, but um, when I made the mold, I used 600 grams of silicone to make the mold, the insert. The actual tray took 1.2 kilos of. Um, silicone so because the, the insert took 600 grams I'm thinking that maybe I need 600 grams of resin I've got a big dollop there of black black pigment paste I've got to stir carefully because it's almost at the top I wasn't expecting it to fill up so much so just give me a minute or so while I stir this black in. It's coming up to the top. Hopefully it's enough. It is Art Tree Creations. Na 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 na. Batman Black. <laughs> All right. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Clean it off the side. The stick. Push it back in. I want it nice and opaque. I don't want to see the stick through it. The other thing I was thinking, <clears throat> like, what if I put the clear down first, clear down, clear resin first, then turned it over and dusted it, and then poured the black on. Like it's exactly the same thing with except backwards. I'm just not sure how much leakage I'm going to get down the side but hey look I'm, I'll do it again if it hasn't if it doesn't work I'll just do it again what's another 600 grams of resin and then I'll need some more for the top don't I so I'm not necessarily going to fill it all the way to the top I might though because some of these um, like crushed looks are quite high um, it's a deep mold though the actual tray mold is 1.5 centimeters deep and I had to make it deep to accommodate for the insert as well as a layer of resin. So we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, obviously I've got to cover it, all these little crinkles. I have to cover them. Is that mixed enough? It's nice and opaque. I can't see anything through there. Let me put the lid on that. All right, here we go. Now it's a really nice even covering with the brush. I haven't left any excess pigment powder in those little creases. So hopefully I'll get more of a black look rather than that sort of a orangey look that we've got in some places from the excess pigment powder. All right, I'm gonna change hands. It's quite heavy. Here we go, here we go. Oh, tape. Make sure we're still taping. Yep. 
All right. <clears throat> yeah, she's a big in this one. Here we go. Just take my time. Let the resin creep over and through all those little crevices, creases. So I don't want to overfill it too much. The resin is self-leveling, so once I get near the edges, I'll just wait for the resin to catch up and let it creep over, see if it wants to go any further. So I'll just leave it like that. I've only used about half of that so far. Who knows what I'm going to do with black resin if I've got that left over, hey? Actually, I'll just let it sit there so I don't knock it. I'll do a bit of torching while that resin is just waiting to um, level itself out. And I will have a little bit going down the edges. Not much you can do about that. It's just part of using an insert. But once you've turned it over, you can tend to peel that resin off pretty easily. Now this is where you can see if you need to maybe lift your your board. See I've got a board under here that's sitting on my table. So if I look at this and I go okay that's getting a bit close to the edge there. Um, I probably need to lift this side up a little bit. So I'm just going to put a, a pop stick under there. I do already have one under there but I probably need a little bit more just to push that down a bit more I'm just having a look at my levels that's not terribly exciting but I just got to check my levels I think this side might be needing to be lifted up a bit as well I do have a pop stick under here I'm just going to take that one out let it run down so it needs to go that way and that way so I mean, it's easy enough to do you just have to look at it and say well where needs a little bit of lifting or lowering and once it's settled a bit more I'll just pour a little bit more resin on I just want to get some bubbles as they're rising up Just make sure you don't torch your actual silicone mold. I'm not going anywhere near the edges. I've turned it off, but it's still a bit of a flame coming out, so it's got to be careful. Make sure you don't put it down before it's all all gone. All right, so there's a little bit high sticking up there and there, but then I did have that stick under there pushing it that way, so. How's that looking for level? Put a little bit more on here. Just want to cover it. Don't need to have too, too much. Well, I've made up way too much resin. Probably needed, what have I got left? Probably got about 200 grams left, so I'll say I probably needed about 400. Although well, I haven't finished yet. Can't, can't say that yet. I haven't finished yet because it hasn't gone over here yet. I wonder if I can just encourage it to go that way a bit. So because I made this insert myself with the you know the plastic and I crinkled it by hand, it's going to be very man-made or woman-made, you know, with the crinkle. Some will be higher, some will be lower. I did try to get them as even as I could, but um, yeah, it's it's never the same as. It's, you know, if you were having it done by machines in, in bulk, it's never going to be the same. But I did the best that I could. It was really difficult making this bold, I must say. All right, so we covered. I don't know that I want to put any more on. I'm just going to check my levels. Uh, but as far as you guys go, I'll let you go. Um, oh, and I might put, depending on what it looks like on the other side, I might put some handles on the other side. Those. So we can stick them in in the top layer and as the bubbles come up just pop them okay you have to just stay with it for the next 
five or ten minutes so just pop those bubbles as they come up because they can get trapped in those little creases and crevices and things so just keep checking haven't got a lot of pigment powder that's come up so that tells me I did a good job with the dusting all right um, I'm gonna leave it at that I'm gonna cover it I'm gonna keep checking for the bubbles um, and um, I'll come back to you hmm, in about six hours I guess maybe even later I want to do it today so I can put the next layer on because then you have to wait again for it to set. Anyway, I'll be back. See you soon. Right, uh, guys. It's uh, quite late in the evening, but I want to take this out so that I can do a top layer tonight. It's still a little bit bendy. I've been checking it every hour, but um, I think I'm just going to have to go for it. So here we go. Let's see if I can get it out. Loosen it all the way around first. I thought it would set up pretty quick actually because um, you know it's it's relatively thick. Ended up pouring a little bit more black on. What's that? Oh, that's just a little bit of leakage there. So that's the tray, as you can see. Gorgeous. Right, now when I flip it over, we'll see the back of that um, druzy. Now, I wonder if I can just get it back in there before I peel it off. <laughs> kind of went squeak. <laughs> All right, well, I probably should peel it off first and then ease it back in. I can't really see if it's in properly. It's probably more over that way. But anyway, let's let's just get this off, hey? And hopefully it shall come off nice and easily. Oh, look! Look! Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my gosh! Can you see the shine? Wow, oh wow, that's worked even better than I expected. And look, it just comes off so easily. Ta-da! That's the piece I made, see? Look at that. That's a whole 600 grams of silicone right there. Oh, I'm so happy with it. It worked, it worked, it worked. Right, let me put this over here, out of the way. Oh wow, look at that. So, let's actually let's have a little look at this first, because I think I may have to just trim it. So it's got some of these little, little bits, little overflows. You know how I said there might be some that sort of sunk in over the edges there? Oh wow, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Um, all right, oh, I'm just snapping little pieces off. I'm just going to take this over this over the bin over there. I'm going to snip these off uh, with my little um, cuticle trimmers, um, and I will should be all right. I'll just grab it. I'll just grab the trimmers so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I've got to be careful because it's still a bit bendy. So that's it there. So I'm just going to basically. Oops, snap those off. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then uh, I'll be right back. <gasps> I'm so excited, it worked. Just trying to get you on autofocus. <laughs> uh, I need two hands. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Can you see the purple it's picking up? And green looks amazing. Right, I've trimmed it off as you can see. Trimmed the edges. Let's trim the edges with my little cuticle cutters. Right now, I've got to get it back in and I've wiped down my mold, cleaned it best as I could. 
Now I'm going to push it into the side there first, push it there and then I'm going to have to just pull this back and pull this back all the way around and that should just slot in. I made it so that it fitted perfectly for the insert and push that down. So probably, you know, I'm still going to get a little bit of clear running down the side. Maybe, I don't know. I, you know, I did it, I had to make this just like two millimetres bigger. Just so that it would fit in. But um, I think that's pretty good. Give it a press down. Right, now, how much resin am I going to make? Oh wow, when I look it down like it, it's green. And then when I look across here, it's purple. <laughs> So excited. All right, uh, mix up some resin. Um, how much will I do? Oh my gosh. Um, I guess I can always make more. I'll start with four, um, about 450 grams. All right, I'll mix it up. I'll be right back. Righto, all done. I've got my resin. And uh, it does look like a lot, doesn't it? Probably made up more than I need. But last time I made up 640. This time I got 480. So we shall see. I'd rather have a little bit extra than um, run out and then I have to make more. Now, my little handles. I think they look really nice on there. Uh, I'm not going to put them in now. I've had to actually find little areas where it's got two little flat-ish spots. I think that's probably about it. But I'm going to wait <clears throat> until the resin's sort of half set and then I'm going to poke them in. <laughs> right. Give it a blow. Make sure there's no dust. Here we go. Pour it on. Ooh. See different colours coming up already. Look at that, you can see it's more, it, it's sort of throwing this goldy colour. It's really bizarre. I just thought that pinky purple would stay, but now that the resin's on, it's changing again. Looking totally different. Looks as if I'm using up all my resin. That was a good call making that. Look at that. Oh, gone. So I probably should have done the 400 the first time and then maybe the 600 the second time. But look, this is the first time I've done this. So I really had no idea of how much to use, but um, I've written it down, so I'll know for next time, because I didn't need all that black for the first coat. Uh, it's probably better having it a little bit more for the second coat, so yeah, change it around next time. I don't really like scraping that because it's got bits in there that haven't really mixed properly. Okay, now I'm just going to push this to the edges because it's not quite there yet and hopefully we won't have any little mountain peaks poking through. There's one there, there's a mountain peak poking through there. Gently push it to the sides. I don't want it to go up up the edge. So as you guys probably know, if you take your resin to the very top of your mould, it will, or maybe a little bit above, it will dome, like have this dome over it. Uh, if you don't, you're more likely to get a little lip, which will need a bit of sanding, but that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, wow, that's totally changed the colours. Actually, when I look back at it over here now, it's more of a goldy purple. 
and I look on top, it's the goldy green. See, I didn't see any of that goldish tone until I put the clear resin on. It's just bizarre. I'm going to have to make up just a tiny little bit more because there's a little, little bit sticking up there. A couple of areas. I probably need another 100 grams. I'll give it a quick torch. Give it a quick torch and then I'll take you down so that you can have a little look. Uh, and then I'll just make up another tiny bit of resin just to top it off. And I'll adjust my notes. So I don't know whether or not you guys are interested in this mould. Like it's, it's not going to be a cheap one. Um, it took a lot of silicone to make. It was difficult to actually create the master mould. Um, it takes a lot of resin, so I guess if you're wanting to make it to sell, you know, you've got to look at that as well because it's going to cost you a lot to make because it's a lot of resin. So, um, but look, if anybody wants one, you can message me, you can let me know, and um, I'll see what I can do. Or maybe I can make some... What about if I make smaller ones like four coaster molds with this design? Would you be interested in that instead? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get you down for a little close up real quick. I'll get my gloves off. If I can get my gloves off, there we go. And then, oh, gloves are stuck. All right, there we go, they're off. Let's have a look. See if we can pick up the different shades, hey? Did you notice that it changed colour when I put the um, the clear on? Did you actually notice that? Or was it just me? Alright, so look over here. Now, I guess it looks more blue through the screen. It's, it isn't. It's more green. Then we go over here. Look, the ring light's in the way, as usual. And then look down here. Look at that. Look how different that is. It's isn't that amazing? So we're getting purple there now. And that goldy tone. And then when we come back up here, it's more green. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. It's just, just amazing. And then down here again, it's more of a purple tone this way. And around there, just depending on which way you look at it. Look at that. Now you can see pinky, purple and gold. And then you over here, you got sort of a green and purple. And then up here again, it's more green. Oh, love it. It's just amazing. How good is it going to be as a tray, hey? You could turn it into a clock. It would be an amazing clock. You could put gold numbers on it i will paint the the edge in gold as well but it, it would look amazing as a clock all right i'm going to finish it off and uh, i'll see you tomorrow morning and we will unmold it all right so exciting see you then right guys it's the next day I was up so late with this last night, it was almost midnight. So I put the handles in and then I was worried that they might, you know, flop over while when I went to bed. So then I just put this bit of tape across and stuck it to the side of my board there, just to keep them in place. Yep, <laughs> they're set. So um, yeah, because <clears throat> normally I go to bed, well, early-ish, you know, by 10.30 at the latest, because my dogs wake up so early. I need to get up and look after them. So I can't go to bed too, too late. But yeah, like I said, midnight last night, looking after these babies. But I really wanted to unmold it today, so I had to finish it, didn't I? Let's get this. It's got suctioned to my silicon mat here. Ah, there we go. All right, let's get this baby out. Oh, look at that. We've got some beautiful straight edges there. So those are the ones I'm going to paint gold. Oh, you don't have to, but um, I think I'd like to. Just to pick up the 
the gold. I'm going to hang on to that and just peel this back. Look at that. It's done. Woohoo! It's out. I'm going to put this. Um, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put this? I'm going to find somewhere. There we go. I'll sit over there on my chair. So there we go. Look, there's the handles. You know, they're not probably exactly where I wanted them. This one could have moved over a tiny little bit, but there was a big fold there, my crushed velvet fold. So I just sort of had to put them where, where they could go. Let's have a look at the side. So you can see the, the black section and then the clear section. But see the sides, I don't think are all that attractive. So I would like to paint them with gold. Um, let me go and get my gold pen, hey? I gave it a light sanding just along the, the edges there and because I didn't you know, fill the mold right up the top so I had that little bit of a, a rim there. Now I'm thinking maybe copper might be nice on the edge instead of gold. This one I did in gold but um, because it throws so much of that sort of a a coppery look I'm wondering if I should maybe try the copper especially because I've got the black handles now I do know that the copper doesn't cover as well as the gold so I'm probably gonna have to do well, a couple of coats so that's the copper there deco color premium in the copper so <clears throat> let's have a little look I'm gonna go around the edge first oh. Probably just hang on to it there. I've got my glove on so that I, oops, so I don't mark it. It's much easier if I can do it. Um, hang on, let me get my lazy Susan. Okay, that's better, isn't it? Put you back on autofocus if I can. Oh, come on. <clears throat> it's really hard to. There we go. Autofocus. I'm trying to tap the screen because it's got a plastic cover on it. Right. Now, this should be make it much easier because I can just turn this, you see. So I'm just going to do the top little rim first and see what it looks like. Because it, to do the side, that's going to take me forever to sit down and do that. I'm just going to get this pen started. Push on my little card there that I've got. So I'm putting the whole of the pen nib on the inside edge there because it's such a big piece. I can get away with having a thicker, just blowing on that, I can get away with having a thicker edge. Whoops, it's tricky. Actually, maybe it's better if I do it this way. can see what I'm doing. I went a bit thick there. Let's push on that again to get the colour to come down. I think that's easier doing it this way for me. There we go. I think that's matching really nicely that, that copper. What do you think? And because I've got a little tiny rim there still on the edge, my pen is just sitting inside it. So I've got a nice little straight edge to follow. I think I will have to do a second coat though. The copper doesn't seem to have as good coverage as the gold does. So this one I'm actually just doing the inside of the little lip so I'll have to actually go back over and do the outer lip I have to wait till this dries totally I think to do another layer otherwise it just looks a bit streaky Now, I just want to make sure it's equal because the first one where I started, I wasn't doing inside the lip, I was doing 
the top of the lip so I'm just going to make sure that it's the same thickness or width all the way around I think it is all right now I'm going to just gonna go around and do the top edge so I'll just put my pen on the actual edge there oops start the color to come down again it's a bit tricky a bit tricky when I'm not sitting down and we're in the right position I went over there I'll have to fix that all right, let's just do this little rim here, this little edge. Oops, gone over again. I'll fix that up with some acetone. Certainly not as easy doing it when you're standing up or trying to do it in front of the camera. Hope it's not running out. Just pushing again on there, might be running a bit low. Mm, I think it's running out. I don't think I've got another copper one actually. I might have to go and buy another copper one um, to actually be able to do the these sides. It kind of needs to be done now that I've started the top hey now <clears throat> where did I start hard to know where I've actually started I have to fix that little bit up there too Yeah, I think it's running out. It's when I'm pushing on it. I'm getting a little bit of a colour, but it's it's not really shiny. Like it's it's just like the base colour. It's not really shiny. Right, so I'll I'll leave it at that. You don't need to watch me painting any more edges. But what do you think? I do like the copper edge. I think that's. I think that's worked really nicely. So hard taking photos of these though because they're so reflective. Um, and then you know, I'll take it outside and I just get reflections of trees. I'm trying to show you the, the colours, the different colours. So it's green that way. Obviously, you can see green that way. Mm, purple. Uh, you could see it better last night when I had the lights on it and got the bright lights on it. Anyway, I'll try my best to take a photo for you, but you guys saw the different colours last night. So oh, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Let me know what you think, guys, if you like it. And um, I'll see if I can paint these edges here but yep I really like that copper edge beautiful just ties it in beautifully right thanks so much for watching everybody um, let me know if do you think I should make some coaster mold inserts now that I look at this one I think this is like too scrunched but um, yeah, it was my first one but I think I like the open scrunchy look of that one a bit better right gotta go Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.